Hello guys, happy Easter. Hope you're doing well today. I'm going to show you how I got ready for Easter Sunday. So I'm going to be showing you how I got my makeup done first of all. First of all, we did the brows. Next, I'm going to be doing some color correcting. I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer Corrector. And I'm just going to be putting it in the places where I have, where I think I have dark spots. So that's where I think are darkest on my face. So I'm just going to pat it in, pat, 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 pat. Because I saw this in a video. Is it Jackie Aina? I saw it in someone's video saying you need to pat it. That's the best way to do it. So I'm like, okay, let's pat. After watching tutorial, we have to try it out. Next, I'm going to be using my foundation. This is the... Um, Black of Power Foundation. I'm going to write the names of everything I'm using in the description box. So make sure you check that out if you want to know what products I'm using. Next, we're going to go to the eyes. I'm just using my blush as my transition color. So I'm just going to put it in between my eyelid. And then the next thing, I'm going to put the color on my lid. It's like a brown, orangish color. I like it because sometimes it almost looks like skin tone. I bought this Inglot gel liner yesterday, so I decided to try it out today. You know when you buy something new, they suit you to, to launch, your, your body will just say, shock you, shock you, let's use this eyeliner, let's use it. So I really, really like it. So if you're looking for good eyeliner, you should try that Inglot gel liner. Next thing, I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes. You know the way we do it now. We we'll just draw a triangle at the bottom of the eyes, put one line on the bridge of the nose, and put a bit of highlighter on my chin and a bit on my forehead. You know, that's how the highlighting process goes. <laughs> I'm going to be using this brush I use for my foundation to kind of blend the highlights so that the harsh lines are reduced. I don't know how well of a job I did, but I think I tried. Next, I'm going to be using this Sasha Buttercup. <laughs> Sasha Buttercup, um, what is it called now? Powder to, you know, bake my face because I wanted to reduce the oiliness. My face is very oily. After a few minutes, like oil starts coming through my makeup. So annoying. Now is the eyelash time and it is the moment of truth. It was not easy, but I've managed to make it work today. <laughs> and I'm so excited. Anytime I finish doing my lashes, I'm always so happy. Next, I'm just going to be buffing and removing the excess powder. I'm just trying to make everything look nice, basically, using my Milani powder. That's what I use. And I'm going to be contouring with the Maybelline um, Cocoa Dark Powder. Is that what you call it? Check the description box. It will be written there. I just bought this eyeliner yesterday from BM Pro, that's Banker Meshida's makeup brand. And I'm using a puff to drag my eyes down so, because anytime I touch my face after doing makeup, the oil is just coming through. 
Next, I'm just going to apply mascara so that my lashes will blend with the fake lashes. And then I'm going to put liner again so that everything looks, you know, as natural as possible. You don't want to see the demarcation. I'm going to be applying blush. This blush is also a Banke Meshida uh, BM Pro bro, um, blush. And I'm also going to be highlighting my brow bone because it looks nice. And this lipstick, I missed it so much. I had to go and buy it again from BM Pro yesterday. So this is the, I think, BM Pro Red. It's very, very bright and it lasts all day. So I'm highlighting my cheekbones and my forehead and my the bridge of my nose. Wigs are making life easy for me right now and I'm going to be wearing one of my favorite wigs. This is from Games of Froze or Games of Fro or Game of Froze. And I'm just going to be adjusting it. I really like this wig. I like hair that kind of looks like it can grow out of my head. Yeah. So I'm wearing my jewelry and applying the finishing touches, you know, to complete my look. And I'm spraying my favorite perfume everywhere around me, up, down, walk into it. <laughs> I love this perfume. Anybody that hugs me today, fire. I'm going to be putting highlighter at the corner of my eyes there because there's this magic it does. It just elevates your look. And this is our finished look. I think this was my normal go-to glam look, Sha. And this is my outfit. My outfit cost me 2,500. Like, I bought the dress ready-made and I bought it from the Lekki Arts and Craft Market, the one I told you about in my last vlog. This was the dress I was talking about. 2,500 Naira, can you beat that? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.